how is it going everybody mr android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel today i will be showing you five super useful bixby routines that will completely change the way how you are using your samsung device now bixby routines automates tasks that you do every day on your phone once you set up a bixby routine it will automatically perform that specific task for you and saves you a bunch of time in this video i am going to share five of my favorite bixby routines that will make you more productive with that being said, make sure you guys watch this video till the very end. Also, let's aim for 1500 likes on this one. So drop a like, leave a comment and let's get started. Guys, in order to set up a Bixby routine on your phone, all you have to do is go to settings, advanced features, go inside Bixby routines and turn it on. From here, we are going to set up five different routines that will definitely save you a lot of time and enhance your smartphone using experience. Alright guys. First up, we have a routine called Auto Rotate. What it does is, when you open a particular application, then the screen orientation will change automatically to Auto Rotate. Generally, we keep our phones in portrait mode. So if you want to watch a video or consume any media on your phone, every time you need to manually change the screen orientation and it becomes quite annoying. To fix this, all you have to do is tap on Add Routine and then select the if condition as app opened. I will select YouTube application but you can also add Netflix or any other streaming app on your phone. Once you are done, now click on then condition, select display, screen orientation and change it to auto rotate. You can also give a name to this routine and then tap on done. Now every time I open the YouTube application, you can see the screen orientation changes to auto rotate and if I close the app, it goes back to portrait mode. So you don't have to manually change the screen orientation. I always keep my location settings off and I am sure most of you does the same because it saves you some battery. But there are some applications that requires location access. Let's say if I open a food delivery app like Zomato, you can see how my location toggle turned on and when I close it, it turns off. It's one of my favorite Bixby routine that I have created on my phone. Basically I have set a routine that automatically turns on my location settings when I open certain applications and turns off when I am not using them. To set up this routine. Just go inside if condition and set as app opened. Now select all the applications that require location access. Next click on then, select location, turn it on and click on done. Once you have set up this routine, now whenever you open applications that require location access, it will turn on your location settings and if you close it, it automatically turns off. I think it's a very useful routine that helps you to save some battery as well. Next, let's create a routine that will help you if you are running out of battery. So again tap on add routine and if my battery level touches 20% or below, then I have to configure my phone to do certain tasks that will save some battery. First, I want the always on display to turn off because it consumes a lot of battery. Then I want to turn off the Bluetooth connection. I also want to reduce the brightness, probably around 25% will save me some battery. And I also want to make sure that my location settings is turned off. So all these things will happen when my battery level touches 20% or below. This will definitely maximize the battery life. Next, you can also configure your phone to do certain tasks when connected to your Bluetooth device. Just go inside the if condition and select when my Bluetooth device connected. Now select then and here I want a couple of things to happen. Whenever I connect my Bluetooth device, I want my Dolby Atmos to be turned on. Next, I want my media volume to be at 70%. If I connect my Bluetooth earphones, I don't want it to be very loud. Also, if I connect my earphones, I want my phone to immediately open the Spotify application for me. That's it. You can simply save this routine and these three things will happen every time I connect my Bluetooth device. There has been times when your phone is in charging and you receive a notification. If you are busy doing something, then it is quite difficult for you to check your notifications. So if you want your notifications to read aloud when your phone is getting charged, then you can simply create a routine for situations like this. Go to if condition, select charging status, now tap on then, select notifications and then choose read notifications aloud. You can also select the applications for which you want your notifications to be read aloud. I will select WhatsApp and tap on done. Now whenever my phone is getting charged and I receive any message on WhatsApp, it will read my notifications so I don't have to manually check my phone. It comes really handy when you are busy doing something and you don't have enough time to check your notifications. 
so that's pretty much it these are some of my favorite routines that will definitely improve your smartphone using experience if you have created some useful routines then you can share it in the comment section so other people can make use out of it so that's it for this video if you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button subscribe to this channel if you haven't already i am mr android and i will see you guys in the next one